Hi guys and welcome to this moment in design the show where we talk about design stuff Today we are going to review Musician a music training app I took the 7 day trial and tried to learn to play the piano Here I am on day 0 Musician is a monthly subscription service that provides tutorials for various instruments. It is available for all devices and platforms. The website actually doesn't tell you much about how the app works, so I decided to find out for myself. The plans are reasonably priced when compared to actual tutors, and there's a 7-day free trial. The app appears to be designed for pure beginners. The visuals are beautiful, there are a lot of animations and sound effects, and the whole app has a game-like approach with points, levels, skills, challenges, and even more points. For most lessons there are intro videos and practice exercises and then you jump right into the songs the songs are the main type of lesson in musician they work exactly like guitar hero or dance dance revolution a song plays in the background and you get visual aids for what notes to play along with it you play your instrument your phone's microphone picks up the sounds from it and gives you a score based on how well you play now i don't know if this is a great learning method but it's definitely a lot of fun The design of the workouts makes it essential to look at the screen as you play. This is ideal for piano and prevents the bad habit of looking down at the keys. The app maps a color to each finger and that honestly works like magic. The notes themselves are positioned one above the other just like sheet music. The songs are a joy to play. In the beginning, the parts you learn sound very simple but are actually quite challenging to get right. This makes the lessons very replayable. I was obsessing over almost every song till I got all the notes right. The songs are a mix of classical pieces, well-known pop songs, and some original musician songs. One musician's original, titled "I Am a Rockstar But I'm Sad," is actually very funny. The more well-known songs are actually not that much fun to play since they're simplified for beginners. This is me after day two. There's a play mode and a practice mode in the app. The play mode allows you to perform the song and get a score. The practice mode loops the backing track, allowing you to learn at your own pace. You can set the tempo, isolate left and right hand parts, and have the app play your parts for you so you can hear how they're supposed to sound. I found myself doing this for every lesson. In fact, this is the only way in the app to hear how the song is meant to be played. As for chords, it doesn't play them for you, so you don't have any audio reference. It only tells you when you play them right visually. Can exactly call her a flower. That when she sits behind a piano. Then I know just where my heart belongs. It's the way she plays. As you progress through the lessons, you level up. The first few levels are basic and teach you how to play notes and some chords. After about 3 lessons, you pick a learning path pop theory or classical there is a nice video that explains which one is suitable for you since i wanted to eventually be able to play coldplay i picked pop although it still kept asking me every time i started a new lesson The information architecture is quite confusing. There are multiple ways to reach the same lessons. The first way is the guide mode where you tell the app how much time you have. Then you get some warm-up songs followed by the actual lessons and some songs for revision. This is convenient if you intend to practice once a day since it will allow you to manage your time better. However, if you're like me and want to learn multiple lessons at a time, then warm-up and explore will get in your way. and you'll find yourself skipping them more often than not also you can only go forward in the guide mode so if you press skip on a lesson too bad the second mode 
called the learn mode, presents all the lessons as a playlist. There is no pesky warm up and explore to hinder your momentum. I'm not sure if all the lessons are the same as the guide mode. The app does not actually communicate that very well. But if you want to move through the lessons with pace, this is the way to do it. There are points for everything. There are certificates for completing every level and a perfect rating when you don't make any mistakes in a lesson. I personally don't care much for points, but it's nice that they're there. All that matters to me is if I nail the song and that is explained through a star system which works well. The phone and tablet versions are probably easier to use since those devices are easier to handle than a laptop. But they do come with their own challenges. The phone volume has to be turned down otherwise the app can't hear your instrument. Even then, it's not entirely accurate. It can mark your correct playing as incorrect and incorrect playing as correct. In these cases, the user has to know whether they're playing correctly and ignore the on-screen messaging. When you do turn the volume down, you can't really hear and enjoy the song. I learned to play entire songs without being able to hear any of the lyrics. In fact, it's so bad that sometimes you can't even hear the beat. This app lags. Even on a high-end phone, not only do the visuals skip frames, but the notes also lag sometimes, playing out of rhythm. So in some cases, when you're learning how to play a song, the app will play it wrong for you. This is beyond forgiveness for a music training app. Using it on the phone also means constant interruptions of notifications. So set your phone to do not disturb. Also, phones fall. Now, here's what I like about the app. Number one, lessons are fun. Number two, learning musical concepts happens very naturally. Number three, the app takes you from zero to beginner musician in just a matter of hours. Number four, there is a really nice optical illusion every time you finish a lesson. The screen appears to be moving even after the song is over. Number five, you don't need a piano to learn to play the piano. This app allows you to use an on-screen piano and you could probably learn the basics like this. Problems. Number one, dishonesty around payments. Musician is all about the money. You only get a few minutes a day on the free version. The most affordable paid version called premium isn't even mentioned on the site or in the app. I found it by accident in my iPhone settings, but by then I'd already been forced to subscribe to the more expensive Premium Plus. I don't even know what I'm getting in that plus. Number two, bad mics. Note recognition fails too often. You could be playing the wrong note, chord or octave and the app doesn't pick it up. If your timing is right, you could play every note wrong and still get a perfect score. Number three, videos unplayable on low speed. When your internet connection is slow, the video lessons skip frames and play without sound. These are music lessons without sound. I wish the app would just downgrade the quality of the video or download it before playing. That would probably solve the problem. Number four, mislabeling. Warm-up doesn't have warm-up exercises. Half of the lessons in Learn are songs that you've already learned. And Explore is just more practice for the same songs. There is no exploration involved. Play and Perform are used in different places in the app to mean the same thing. And these are just a few of the inconsistencies within the UI. Number five, Identity Crisis. The UI of the app is a patchwork design. The workouts have one interface with a certain sensibility, approach, and visual design. The chord trainer has another 
and the root node trainer has yet another with animal figures seriously app are you for kids or for adults a full heuristic evaluation of all the ux problems and their possible solutions is available in the description please do check it out and feel free to add your own points to it and send it back to me overall i think it's a decent app to learn the basics even with this you'll have to put in the hard work and there's no way around that i also think that while the app is intended for beginners users who are learning their second instrument will probably get more mileage out of it i'm going to give this super frustrating app 3 out of 5 stars because despite its ux and performance issues it still feels very rewarding to use take the free trial and see if it works for you hey guys if you liked the video like the video leave your comments and do subscribe and follow